right now we're Are cooking we because it's <laughs> Booty Friday. It's Booty Friday, guys. We're doing a quick appetizer. It's not an appetizer. Yeah, we, we treat it as a dinner. It's very good. All right, what are we doing? We're making broccoli cheese soup. You know, like the kind that you go to Panera for, you go to Jason's Deli for. Do you know that you can make it in your house in like under 30 minutes? This is a quick it's meal. So 30 good. minutes and it's so good. So let's... One of the things that makes it quick, though, for us uh -huh. is this new little gadget. Thank you, at Nina Simons, my sister-in-law. She, I'm a hat guy, so I'm always trying to find a way to work smarter, not harder. So, so one of the do? things that this recipe calls for is about two cups of... Uh, cheddar cheese. You can use mild, you can use medium. If, you want, if you want to, you can use sharp. And I do. What am I using? I think I have a medium tonight. I've never used this thing, but we're going to see what it is. See if it works. Nina squares by it. Should I hold this whole thing? What's happening? Well, because it's on a board. Take it off the board. I don't see no cheese. Where's the cheese? This is not a good hack, Nina. Show me the cheese. Oh, it's coming out now. Maybe we should take it off the board. Yeah, let's take it off the board. Let's just move. Excuse us while we while we get things we right. Reset. We'll make sure we're still in the frame. Though. I mean, is that better than shredding it on the? Hold on, I think we should have a race. All right. Hold on. Tell you what. I'm getting my old fashioned one. Let's just see what happens. She's so competitive. All right, I'm tired. Can we turn this around and do it with my right arm? Is that gonna help? I just completely nailed it. So, oh, what is happening? Well, it just came through. All right, no, this is faster. No, but look at your cheese, it looks weird. No matter. Guys, the reason that I hate to do this one is because, no lie, sometimes I, I grade my knuckle. <laughs> and it bleeds. <laughs> and then I have to throw all my cheese away and that is so disheartening. Oh, how come it's working now? So much better. I'm done with mine though, what are you doing? Mine looks better than yours. Done, son. Yes. Your cheese is weird looking. Guys, here's my verdict. Just use your old school grater. Use this. Maybe put on some gloves so that you don't end up grating your skin off. Oh, look at this weird shape. Now it's I have- It's gonna melt. I have You're three, not gonna see it anyway, right? Three different types of cheese. That's all we know. Okay, we're working on the base of this soup. And I have a half of like a medium onion. If you like a lot of onion, you can do more. I do a medium. Half of a medium onion, I've diced it. And I, I threw it in here with some butter, like about a half a stick of butter. And I'm letting it cook for about three or four minutes now. And now Christopher is gonna give me. This is a, a teaspoon. Yeah, I need a like teaspoon a teaspoon and a half. A teaspoon and a half, exactly. Okay. Of garlic. And then we're gonna let this cook for like one more minute before we move on. Mm, that smells good. Okay, can you see this? The garlic, the onions, the butter. It smells good. It smells so good. Okay, so now we're gonna do, babe, can you help me dump that flour in here real quick? And I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna say slowly twist. That's okay. It's just like, ah. Uh. Ready you got no, not yet. We're gonna make a roux. You know what a roux is, babe. Tell yeah, everybody what a roux is. It's the base. It's the base of like a gumbo. It is where all your flavor is held. You want to take it slowly. Slowly, not. But that's okay. A little bit at a time. We just put four tablespoons of all-purpose flour in here, and we're just gonna let this go for like one minute so we get a little bit of a better color before we move on. Okay, so our roux is turning a really great kind of golden brown color. It looks good. Now we're gonna add our liquid. Here's what I would normally add, a vegetable broth, but I need something low sodium. So because this is not low sodium, we're gonna have to push that to the side tonight. And I'm just gonna use chicken broth that I had on hand because it is low sodium. And to this roux, I'm gonna add about half of this, which would equal like two cups. My heat 
heat is still like on that medium-ish point. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and then I'm gonna add broccoli. Now, I just had frozen broccoli on hand and I just pulled it out like an hour or so before I was ready to use it. We're gonna put it in three cups of broccoli. Maybe just a tad more because I like a lot of broccoli. So to this three cups of broccoli, I'm gonna add about a cup or so of carrots. I chopped it. Chris, he just Did threw it in the time. food processor and got it very, very fine because I don't like big chunky carrots in this. I like it to be really, really fine. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm also gonna add real quick about a teaspoon of kosher salt, about a half a teaspoon of pepper, or a fourth, but don't tell Chris. He can add more to his bowl. And also, my last seasoning is paprika. I love paprika. And so to this, I'm gonna add about like a fourth of a teaspoon. Stir this up real good, and then we're gonna let it come to a boil, which may take about 15 minutes or so. That'll give the broccoli a good time to um, get soft. Especially if you're using like frozen broccoli or something like that, chop that up a little bit as, it, as you're putting it in there. To get smaller pieces, you kind of want more bite-sized pieces. And this 15 minutes to bring it to a bowl will give the carrots and the broccoli all the time it needs to kind of get tender for us. Okay, so I let it come to a boil and then I've let it uh, simmer for about 15 minutes. Now the last little step. I'm adding half and half and heavy cream because I like mine to be a little more on the velvety side. So I did a half, I mean a whole cup of heavy cream and a whole cup of half and half. And I'm just gonna stir it, let it come together for about a minute. So we're taking this cheddar cheese, two cups of it, and we're adding it. We're gonna stir it and combine it until it gets nice and melty. And then we're gonna be ready to eat. Okay guys, you don't oh. want me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you bring it out like that? You just saw me take it out of the bag. Oh my god, my mother. <laughs> we need to cut. Is it oh raw? It's gonna be raw for the next two oh, days. Yeah. Let me see. No. <laughs> it's good Babe, though, my You just saw me pull it out of the pot. Like, literally. Alright, go ahead and finish. Okay, so. I'm gonna have to blow this for like another hour. What I did was <laughs> burnt my dag on mouth. Pour the half and half and the heavy cream in and then let it go for like a minute or so just to incorporate. And then do not miss this part. Take a take a little spoon and taste it. What I ended up doing, I added more salt for my taste, you know, just a little bit more. I put a little bit more pepper just to appease this one and a little bit more paprika. So I bumped mine just a little bit more. You may love it just the way it is, but you know, just taste it, um, do your final oh, seasoning, and then get you some of these, these good little- um, Oyster crackers. Oyster crackers, they're so good. You say oyster or oyster? Oyster. Hmm. What did you say? Oyster. 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 Not a chur. <laughs> There's no chur in oyster. Very good. This is very good, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, guys. Try it out. Let me know what you think.